Science Exploratory. Welcome to the Science Exploratory. My name is Professor Lenny Lizard. Click around my laboratory to discover interesting facts and experiments. Planets. Click on one of the pictures below to learn fun facts about planets in our solar system. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It is very hot and dry. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. Sometimes you can see Venus in the early evening sky. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Three quarters of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Earth has one moon. Its name is Luna. Mars. Mars is a fourth planet from the sun. It is sometimes called the Red Planet. Mars has two moons. Their names are Phobos and Deimos. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It is the biggest of all the planets in our solar system. Jupiter's surface is striped. Jupiter has faint rings around it. The rings are made of small grains of rock. It has 16 known moons. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It has many rings around it. The rings are made of chunks of ice. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It looks green and blue. Uranus has 15 moons and 11 rings. The rings are made of rocks and ice. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. It looks blue and has faint rings around it. Neptune has eight known moons, seven small ones and one big one. Its name is Triton. Pluto. Pluto is the ninth planet from the sun. It is the smallest planet in our solar system. It has a moon called Charon. Planets. Click on one of the pictures. Rocks. Click on one of the rocks below to learn some fun facts. Pumice. Pumice is lava that becomes bubbly as it cools and hardens. Pumice is so light that it can actually float in water. Granite. Granite is an igneous rock. Melted rock that cools becomes igneous rock. Granite often appears light and speckled. It can be seen in colors such as gray, white, pink, and tan. Granite is hard and strong. It is used in constructing buildings and monuments. Salt. Salt is a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary means made of settled matter and water. All salt comes from the sea. Rock salt in the ground tells us that once an ancient sea was there. Salt has been used in foods for thousands of years. Quartz. Quartz is an igneous rock. Melted rock that cools becomes igneous rock. Quartz is a mineral made of six-sided crystals. Quartz is translucent, which means you can see light through it. It can be clear, smoky, brown, violet, or rose. Coal. Coal is a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary means that it is made of settled matter in water. Coal is a form of fuel. It is organic, which means it started out 
as plant material. Some people burn coal to heat their homes. Sandstone. Sandstone is a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary means that it is made of settled matter in water. Sandstone is made of grains of sand that have been cemented together by water and time. Sandstone comes in many colors, such as white, gray, yellow, or dark red. Basalt. Basalt is an igneous rock. Melted rock that cools becomes igneous rock. Basalt is really lava that has cooled. If you find basalt, there is probably a volcano nearby. Its color ranges from greenish to very dark gray. Slate. Slate is a metamorphic rock. Metamorphic means made from something else. Slate is packed mud and other organic material such as old plants. The compacted material is called shale. Slate is really shale that has been recrystallized. Estimation Station. Welcome to my laboratory. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Three. Perfect. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Ten. Sorry, that's too many. Choose a smaller number. Eight. You've calculated the contents of that container correctly. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Five. You need more. That Seven. My calculations say eight. That's exactly right. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Nine. My calculations read that that is too many. Two. Six. Perfect. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Nine. That's exactly right. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Four. Six. You've calculated the contents of that container correctly. Let's try something more difficult. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Sixteen. Oops. Fifteen. Perfect. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Twelve. That's not enough. Choose a bigger number. Fourteen. That's not enough. Choose a bigger number. Nineteen. That's exactly right. Estimate how many of these will fit into this container. Twenty. Try again. You've got too many. Choose a small. Nineteen. You've calculated the contents of that container correctly. Great work! Look for one of these amazing animals in your treehouse.
Greenhouse. Venus Flytrap. Venus Flytraps are different than normal plants. They eat bugs. Let's see how they work. First, place the magnifying glass over the plant so we can see it up close. This is the trap that traps the bugs. Click on the lid of the bug jar for it to open. Grab a fly with the tweezers and drag it over to the plant's trap. And... Slide the time bar for an instant replay. Great work! Check out your treehouse for your own plant. Don't forget to water it. Sunflower, Helianthus, Decapitalis. All plants need sun. Some plants need more than others. Sunflowers like the sun so much, they will face and follow the sun as it travels across the sky. Did you know that birds and people eat sunflower seeds? Stem, leaf, petal, root. Carrot. Carrots are vegetables. The part of the carrot that we eat is the root of the plant. Can you think of other parts of a plant that we can eat? Leaves, lettuce and cabbage, flowers, dandelions and pansies. Seeds, lima beans, and peas. Carnation. Plants need water. This experiment is going to show us that plants drink water. The first thing we need to do is add drops of colored dye to the water. Click and drag a bottle of dye to the vase and click again to add the drops. You can't add any more dye. See how the water travels through the stem and petals of the carnation. Click. Click on the bottles of dye if you would like to perform the experiment again.